Corey here with another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I'm here with a true legend, a true legend of the Windows Server team, Jeffrey Snover. He is a distinguished engineer, uh, a part of the Windows Server team. He's the brain behind PowerShell and DSC. It's very exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed actually that his guards let me within this close of a range. And this is very, this is very close. We are very close right now. Um, <laughs> and today, but today we're going to talk about, uh, today, it's got weird. Yeah. It's got, it's got awesome. Uh, today, okay, whoa. Hello. Uh, today we're going to talk about, uh, what were we going to talk about? Oh, today Nano we're going to talk server. about Nano Server yeah. and Windows Server in the cloud. So tell me a little bit about what, what you did here. Yeah, so Nano Server is like the most important change we made since Windows NT. It's awesome. Really. Yeah. Uh, so we did uh, technology planning for the server. We mm -hmm. step back and take a look at where things are going. Put it all up on the board. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I decided that, hey, we're doing great. You don't know if you know, but like this year, 70% of all servers that get sold end up with Windows Server on That's it. That's awesome. So just fantastic enterprise operating That's system. Awesome. Yeah. But when I look at what it took to succeed in the cloud, I realized we had to make some fundamental deep changes. Okay, it needed to be much smaller and much more uh, efficient because mm -hmm. we're going to have like in the cloud, you might have thousands or tens of thousands or you have, uh, how many do we tell people? Lots. We don't lots. tell people. Lots. But lots. We tell lots. We, lots of zeros. More than that number. Yeah. yeah. And so any kind of, any resource usage <laughs> times like those large numbers translates into lots of resource usage. So yeah. if you're using the resources, that's great, but if you're not, you shouldn't have them. Right. Uh, and we want to be super secure and we want to reduce the uh, servicing footprint. So mm -hmm. basically that's what Nano Server is. It's a dramatic refactoring of the server. Uh, it's 20 times smaller. 20 times? 20 times. Wow. So, so then people say, well, what'd you get rid of? Yeah. And the answer is the GUI. Most of it. <laughs> no, 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 most of it's still there. Some, okay, no, okay. The most of it's still there. So the, the, grab, uh, yeah, got, the interface. Got rid of the GUI, got rid of 32-bit uh, support, yeah. and things like MSI, mm -hmm. okay? Mm. So it turns out that when you, that was the bulk of it. Right. Uh, but the bulk Also, of a lot it, of the security fixes needed to go there, too, so now you don't have to take those at all. Exactly, mm -hmm. so like, we, we analyzed the patches for 2012, sorry, 2014, yeah. and said, hey, uh, if we, if that patch, would it have applied to, to nano server and there were one tenth the number of critical patches yeah one tenth wow so that's crazy yeah great stuff yeah and that's really cool yeah and so what will people be able to do with this in Azure let me bring it back to what I care about which is my product and it's not, all about you not your product at all <laughs> uh, as long as it helps me as we were talking about earlier as long as it helps me I care yeah so, so tell, basically, me what, tell me how it helps me yeah so what it means is that uh, people will be able to get the most for anything that any of the resources that they buy yes if they buy a VM the majority of that VM is going for their application Got it. as opposed so to so they may be able to buy less device. actually and still get the full benefit uh, yeah. using this okay yeah, great exactly so, so it helps my to, customers uh, but it, it actually doesn't help me because they buy less. No. I see. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I obviously want most efficient usage of the resources. So you'll be able to deploy <laughs> very quickly. You'll Got be it. able to manage things. You'll have to service less, yeah. and it'll be more secure. Cool. So man. get this. You know, uh, we're doing now. Do, we're doing. Uh, the numbers will change as we continue to evolve it. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the lab, we have VMs uh, booting in like 2.5 seconds. Wow. 2.5. Seconds. seconds. Is that crazy? That's insane. Yeah. So these are like really competitive like a new numbers. new age. Yeah. You no, know, they really are. They're yeah. really competitive numbers, compelling numbers. Yeah. yeah. Competitive numbers. Competitive. I like it. Yeah. And so basically, uh, you uh, over time, yeah. Nano Server will be the basis. You know, uh, we're going to refactor all of Server yeah. to be built on Nano Server. Wow. But to begin with, we're really focused in on two scenarios. So the first is cloud OS infrastructure. Yes. So concretely, that means the operating system required to run our cloud platform solution, yes. the product there. So that's Hyper-V clusters and storage clusters. Yep. And then born in the cloud applications. There you go. So this and will be in the that's guest. that's really where we'll get that into the into the gallery and people can deploy directly in Azure with that. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. So we got a, we're going after all the runtime. So at uh, yeah. the latest conferences, I showed a chef provisioning Nginx nice. to run a Django runtime on top of nano server. Oh, server. beautiful. Just like that. Let's get that. Let's get that live in the gallery. We yeah. should do that. Oh, we should. Oh. I like that one. Well, thank you so much. This has been really enlightening for me at least. And um, it sounds like well, actually let me when when can people get their hands on this? Or can they already? Please. Yeah, they already can. Maybe a link down here we'll put. They're right down here. Well, anyway, it was nice talking with you. I'm glad we got the chance to do this. And um, we'll talk more about some of the other things, PowerShell and DSC integration yeah. in Azure yeah, coming up soon. Great. Yeah, thanks again. And thank you for your time. Sorry for his inappropriateness. And uh, we'll see you next time.
little bit of that. And, anyway, that's my problem. How about that? All set. All right, so now we're going to start apologies. the whole thing over again. Whole thing over again. I don't even know how far we got before we your start device broke. We'll start at the beginning. All right, you ready? All right. Thank mm -hmm. you.